Hello everyone, welcome back to Mountain Aromatics. Today I have beautiful Isobutavan from Givadon. It is um, a base which is crazy incredible and you'll find out why that's such a good thing at 400 hours on the test strip. This is, I've had some viewers who are like, let us know if it's in the beginner's kit from creating perfume or not. This one is not in the beginner's kit. Um, so more than likely, almost everything that I do from here on out will not be in the beginner's kit. Um, Cause I've already, I've done all of those. So, um, now I'm moving on to other things that um, I really, really enjoy and think I've got to go over this because this is amazing. This is really good. If I were, if I didn't have everything, which I don't, but if I, if I had videos to go to, to learn from, I would want somebody to do hey, this is incredible, you've got to get this one, and here's why, this is what it smells like, blah, blah, blah. Or, I got this one, and I thought it was going to be this, and it's not really, and here's really what I get from it, and so the description to me doesn't really fit, that kind of a thing. So, that's the stuff I'll be doing from here on out. Whereas, the beginner's kit was, this is the beginner's kit, so I want to go over everything. So, when you get the kit you can go over all of those videos and learn the material that way and learn the material while it's in your hands as well. So anyway, today is Isobutavan and from Givadon and it, it the description on the website, um, sometimes I put a combination of what's on the website because a lot of times it's pretty accurate and then I put my own as well. But I put, it's gourmand. Um, okay, so a, a variety of people watch this. People who are further down on the road or the journey of doing perfumery and some people who are beginning that journey. So sometimes I will give you very basic stuff. So those of you who know all the stuff, you know, it is what it is, but I want to tell people who are just beginning. So I hope I kind of hit aspects for everyone. Anyway, gourmand is like food. Think, um, well, with this one, dessert. <laughs> it's beautiful. Vanilla, sweet, orange, fruity, um, white chocolate, and cream soda. I don't know, but here we go. First, I'll just smell from here. It is clear. A little thick, not super thick. I mean, it still drops and the drops are separate, but it's still a little thick. Um, definitely thicker than water. It's a, it almost even a little thicker than oil, um, but it's about the consistency of an oil. Um, just a little bit thicker, I think. The aroma... Um, like when you push it all out of the dropper, there's still stuff all over the dropper on the inside and the outside, just a little um, layer of it. Um, my first thought is a orange dreamsicle from childhood. That is the first, so a creamy vanilla orange, almost like a 50% orange, 50% vanilla. And I could just almost end the video right there because that's really the heart of what it smells like. Um, now that I'm thinking, because I've looked at the word cream soda, and now when I think about that, that used to be my favorite better than Barks. So Barks um, root beer, Barks is actually... The Barks family is where I'm from. It's like Biloxi, Gutport, Mississippi. That's actually where I was born and raised. Well, that is where Barks root beer is from. And that's probably one of the better root beers to use, like, a make, a, make a root beer float with. But anyway, they had beyond the best cream soda 
they made an absolutely crazy good cream soda and it was my favorite beyond any other soda at, at all more than dr pepper and all that kind of stuff but the cream soda it does it's so creamy it does smell like cream soda it's the white chocolate i'm a chocolatier he I don't think I've ever said that on here, but I am. Um, I just, I don't, the white chocolate does not hit me at all. I just, I don't get that. At least from here, I just, uh, the white chocolate, I just would, for me, omit. I just, I don't get that at all. Because to me, white chocolate smells like something completely different. Um, here. The creamy orange, it's not quite as sweet. It is sweet here, and it's not a super, it is a candy sweet, but not like a sickening, overly sweet. It's just a sweet. Um, I mean, a dessert sweet, but not like, oh, I'm going to get sick after I eat this because it's just all sugar. Blah. It's not like that. It just is a perfect amount of sweetness to add to or make a gourmand fragrance. The cool thing about it, here's the cool thing about it, and I'm probably going to go on a rant here, but the cool thing about it is that it smells very real and realistic. It doesn't smell fake like Ooh, I may get some bad emails. Like some bad, cheap fragrance oils. Not all fragrance oils are cheap. And basically the word fragrance oils means it's cut. I get that. I understand. But there are some fragrance oils that smell just like, this it smells fake. I just don't like it. Blah. And I had some. And years ago, I threw them all out. It just, yeah. When I started smelling some of this stuff from Jivadon, for Maniche, that kind of stuff, KO, all that stuff. That is where I'm like, oh, now this I love. This smells real. This smells high end. This smells accurate. This doesn't smell like fake. Just, you know, I'm sure most of you know what I'm talking about. So that is another reason I just really, really love this. This smells like real vanilla, real orange, real creamy, real creamy. It smells elegant and high-end. That's, that's what I'm trying to convey. It on the test strip, because the molecules I think are so fat and heavy, it doesn't smell as much here, but I've used it enough that I've already used a half ounce is gone and now I had to buy a one ounce because I yeah I love it. Alora from creatingperfume.com she buys it in a big I'll just say it, a big ass container. <laughs> That's what I was thinking so I'll just say it. She buys it in a big container. But it's beautiful. What I was gonna say is that even though it's heavy on the molecules, when you put it in a um in a formulation that aroma really will come out because those molecules are going to blend with the whole thing and then you're going to add a carrier to it and it's going to give it more room to project and come out and it will do that and it's beautiful absolutely beautiful and then you know me I always go into well you guys want to know what can I put it with mmm you can go in the jasmine area and it will like a whole floral and add a little bit of this to a fragrance in fact i made one yesterday and did that it's absolutely be beautiful so when you have like a jasmine floral you can add a couple of drops to this and it will not make it gourmand but it will make it the um, lactic, the creaminess will come out, will pull that out a little bit, and that, all you, as you know, helps jasmine. 
and a little bit of that vanilla, a little bit of that orange oh, will do wonders for a jasmine perfume. Then um, I'm looking around to give me reminders because I've used this a lot. Um, another route you could go is, of course, with your chocolate, um, your cacao absolute. Um, I have a cacao tincture. I use that in a recipe, in a formula. I said recipe. I cook. So that's why I said recipe. But in a formula um, yesterday. So a cacao absolute or cacao tincture, that type of thing is beautiful. I think it's beautiful in your white petals. Why? Because a lot of times your white petals, the lactic, the milkiness is important in your white petals. And so that's why this can go really well. Um, the, also, to me, the white petals, I usually think vanilla. A reminder, um, and you probably already know, but there's new people all the time. And welcome to all of you new people. Love having you. When you add your citruses and especially like um, lemon, and I'm, that's going to bring me, I'm thinking five things, sorry. When you add your citruses with vanilla, it creates a powdery aroma. So you're like, well, this is vanilla and orange citrus. Is this powdery? Mm -mm, no, it's not um it's not powdery to me at all. That is why I love this. Personally, I don't enjoy, um, I don't think I've, I've made more than three formulations that end up being powdery. I just, I mean, I've made a few because I know some women like that, but I just, I don't know. I don't really like it. So I really tend not to pick my citruses with my vanilla and put them together because that will create um, like a lemon and vanilla that just makes it so powdery to me. But this is not that. Um, and that's why I like it. It's really pretty awesome. And it's more of our, like I've already said, more of a gourmand foodie type aroma. But you can make that not happen if you don't want the food type aroma with what I just said with the um, jasmine um, meaning your a big heart of your fragrance the bulk of your fragrance being a, um, a um, I think I just said lavender but I did not mean that I meant jasmine um, I don't know why I'm not all here today but anyway um, if you have a heart fragrance being jasmine adding just a couple of drops of this will not make it oh it smells like a food aroma that won't happen this will blend in there really well and be absolutely beautiful so obviously with your vanillas with your orange blossom oh my god love orange blossom oh this is so gorgeous to me i absolutely love it um the other thing, so I made um, a sweet fig accord. It's purely just fig. I didn't put any like fig leaf type of aroma, so there's no green in here at all, but just fig. And I made it like a sweeter fig, which pulls out that fig aroma more. Whoo! I have done formulas with these two. Woo, woo, woo. Oh my God. And then I have a, um, a vanilla sandalwood. So the vanilla, sandalwood, and iso, iso um, butavan together. It's gorgeous. I have made that before as well. Um, this um, is, to me, doesn't sound crazy, but with your tobacco, with your sweet oud, or your really, really dark other end of the spectrum oud, it's crazy but I'm telling you it works so those of you who trust me just trust me on that it's like the the ouds on the far ends of the, of the spectrums with this it's absolutely beautiful it's really awesome so tobacco I've done that with um, 
and any of your other so raspberry um cherry oh the other one I, I was looking for I was like where is it so I made a sweet pear accord again simple pear but it's sweet on the sweeter side of the pear to me it just brings out a little bit more facets of the pear instead of being like a dry sharper pear it's more of a sweeter sliced pear that you smell that just has a little bit sweeter juicier facets to it that's what this is and this together whoo i made one the other day and i made the the bulk of the fragrance being the pear adding a little bit of this in it in that formulation absolutely beautiful Ooh, oh my goodness and then of course i made a sweet red currant accord those two together beautiful absolutely beautiful gorgeous and then strawberry who i did it too i so did um i have to pull it so the strawberry um strawberry olfac and um the aldehyde c16 and the strawberry furfanone 20 hello right there and we could just end right there because i just gave you a whole bunch of stuff that's just it's beautiful absolutely beautiful um and then add a little clear wood there you go absolutely beautiful thank you guys so much i appreciate it it's ri it's coming out even more you can smell it even more as time goes on it's now it's starting to waft off and more of the facets are coming out the deeper vanilla Ugh, so beautiful and the orange okay thank you so much if you like this please give me a thumbs up if you have not subscribed please subscribe and I will see you on the next Mountain Aromatics. Have a good day.